and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday the 13th, Friday, October the 13th. And um, yeah, we're here. I am vlogging again. Um, you guys, really, I got a lot of like good feedback on my vlogging, um, which is so surprising to me um, because you guys are interested. So, okay. Either you guys are completely, you're just psychopaths and I'm really extremely boring or, you know, my vlogs may be kind of enjoyable. So, so here we are, <laughs> here we are. So, um, you guys, if you've been like a member of my channel or just, um, familiar with me, you'll know that I love Halloween time. I love fall. It is my favorite time of year. And so my, me and my friend, we go on what we call friend dates every Friday night. So this Friday night, we are doing something spooky, kind of like what we did last year with the booze cruise, but we're going to a haunted, I think a corn maze in Woodville, Alabama. And my friend, she sent this text message and she's like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and go 40. We're going to do, we're going to go the 40 and the $40 one is like, the VIP experience, you're supposed to get touched. But like in the video, they were like, like, I don't know, it, it looked a little extreme. <laughs> so, so I don't know what's in store for tonight. So I have to get ready. And then before we go, we're leaving out like a little bit after seven tonight. So before we go, I am going to um, record my Mujara video. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that in between then and now. So I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit as I get ready. <laughs> Excuse the hair and the hairline. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit as I'm getting ready because I don't do this a lot. <clears throat> and maybe not the entire time I'm getting ready. <laughs> the entire time I'm getting ready. <clears throat> Hang on, let me get my water cup because I am parched. Okay, I'm back. I did get this big ass 40 ounce cup from TikTok shop. I mean, why not? I think I had a coupon for like 40% off and I paid maybe $8 for that cup. And it's like a $30 cup. I, I'll take it, I'll take it, I will take it. Have you guys bought anything off the TikTok shop? I shouldn't be buying anything off the TikTok shop. Um, but to be quite honest, I bought that cup prior to me discussing with my husband the the idea, or not the idea, but the um, the identifying factor of me having a shopping or a spending addiction. So that was one of the purchases I made prior to um, really talking about things. So. I've been doing very well in that aspect. So, yeah. You know what, y'all? I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and get ready because I feel like I'm going to take longer to get ready by recording. So, I'm going to let me do, like, majority and then I'll, I'll come back and holla at y'all before I make my other video. Hey, y'all. It's been about 30 minutes and I am pretty much ready. <laughs> yes. I get a lot of questions about my mascara. I wear these sky high mascaras. So they have like a, a tinted primer and then they have the mascara. I used to be like a, a big avid wearer of like um, lashes, but y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I, I think as I've just gotten older, I just don't want to wear lashes anymore. And I don't know what that is, but you know, I think it's maybe for like a super special occasion. I'm not sure, but I'm just not. I'm just not with them anymore. All right, so I'm gonna go and record my Munjaro video and I will see you guys when we're headed out to the haunted house. See you in like a couple of seconds in your time, but in my time, it's gonna be a couple of hours. But anyways, I'll see you shortly. I wanted to show y'all my shirt that I'm wearing tonight. Look at how damn cute this is. This is Boo Shit, I'm sorry, Boo Sheet which, you know, you know what it's saying because clearly my ass said it. Um, I saw a lady with this shirt on at Walmart and I was like, um, I gotta have it, but I could have got it a size smaller. This is a 2X. Y'all know I have to be sure with those sizes because baby, it's giving big. But I'm gonna be comfortable tonight, so I'm not really worried about it. 
really really cute shirt i love i love it i love it well oh, i've been working on switching my wardrobe from summer to like fall winter i finally got done those are the little tubs do y'all do that like my my closet isn't big enough to hold everything it took me like three weeks to do that Ugh. all right i have been picked up by my friend cheryl we are on our way and um i have on I, that shirt i showed you guys um i'm i'm excited but i am scared because we just don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> we don't know be touched grabbed and there was like something where somebody was getting thrown on the ground and i'm not trying to get thrown on the ground i'm too old my knees are bad they're gonna have to wheel me out of here i truly think that that's an ad i don't think that that's like the re that can't be what they're yeah, doing to people but like, I, got I think she that has to be like over dramatized that can't man if somebody tackle me like that we gonna have a fucking problem I'm gonna have to. I'm. I'm gonna put in the little. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna get that. Like I think it's on Facebook or YouTube, and I'll I'll put it here and let y'all see. But I'm not trying to be tackled and or punched and or slapped because I'm gonna have to slap, punch, or kick somebody. But we are on our way. I'm gonna eat my little Wendy's. I got me a Wendy's burger bag. Um. But yeah, we're on our way. I will catch up with you guys here when we get there. So we have one of minute. It's not called the touch me package, but we have arrived. <laughs> and we are worried because we do not know what the hell we're getting into. You said what now? Oh no. We are in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see. We are like in in the the sticks out here. People got SUVs with four wheelers on it. It's not many people out here right now, but I think it's because oh, there goes my car right there in the Camaro. He's sitting in the back. Dude, are you scared? Cause my stomach hurt. <laughs> I need to take a poop before I go in there. They're gonna be like, we got poor to parties. Like that's not fun. Let me get my my debit card until they like. We don't take cars. I'm like, we finna pay you with a kidney. We leaving. Get her kidney. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Thank you. <laughs> uh uh. She said they pouring stuff on people, throwing you down. Um. So if you are in the Huntsville, New Market, Meridianville area, this is called Cavern, Cave Cavern, Cavern. I cannot get their name right. I'll put it on the screen when I'm editing. Do not get to touch me, feel me, see me package because they they fucking people up out here. The extreme they touch you. you know? <laughs> I've seen the videos. And I, was, I was like, I don't know if I want to be drug and or tackle. Oh, I'm out on all that. Oh my god. Even when I tell them, like you could be put in a cage, they're like, great. Some people are just different. Yeah, you know. <laughs> The way my knees set up, I can't, I can't <laughs> take in jackals. Because <laughs> the line isn't super long, we are doing the original or the general admission, and we get ready to go get a line. But uh oh.
been tousled, touched, and disturbed. Look at how I'm looking. I look like I have been robbed. I had to put my, my hair up. <laughs> but honey, but we was finna get it. Fighting or no? But um, it was really good. It was nice. Um, they, it's it's the chainsaws that they had. They just, they. It's gonna be standard chainsaws, like all places like this sale. Maybe so, but it was dark as hell out there. It was dark as the hell. <laughs> I hate teenagers that are not mine. That woman over there, she a hole in this woman. She got on the skirt and they talking it's about some hole in this woman. They talking about some hallelujah. <laughs> when you when you at the when you when your time is over and you have to answer for the things you do and say, where whatever you believe. But anyways, what would you what did you think about it? What would you rate it on a scale of one to ten boobs? How many boobs would you give it? My eyebrow was on. Give it, I give it for the non touch me package. I give it a seven, six and a half, seven. I feel like we would have got more attention if we would have had on the little glow well, necklace. I, it, and another thing, like if we we're at a traditional, well, this is a hunted maze, it's not a like a scary house. Yeah, it's not. It's like it's not a lot of banging on the wall. That's what I'm yeah. used to. Like it's banging on the walls and a lot of lights and things. And I think what gave it character. Hang on, hang on, because they having a party right here in front of the truck. <laughs> um, what gave it character to me? It was like the corn. You could hear stuff in the corn. Mm -hmm. There probably was nobody there. But yeah, it's the people it's behind, behind us. us. Oh, that was, was gonna them. give me heart palpitations because. I couldn't take it. For me, I'm gonna give it, I would say a 6.5, and the reason I give it a 6.5, that's a big, is that a patron or is that an actor? It's a big old clown, so And the reason I say that is because we didn't have the extra, which I feel like, I just, I don't know, I'm not trying to get thrown down, and like thrown down and or tackled. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. Some random man um, asked me if I wanted. <laughs> really? Really? So, some random man asked me if I wanted to go to wa uh, Waffle House for breakfast. I don't know who that random man is. But I was like, yeah, sure. Picked him up. I'm go to Waffle House. Show you guys what I would eat. I'm trying to lay off of like unnecessary bread and carbs because I'm trying to get under 200 pounds. Um, got a couple things to do today. So I'm gonna share that with you along with what we did last night, which was the haunted house thing. Um, but I will catch up with you guys when we get to Waffle House. used to be a rural area look at that y'all they have started putting houses like on every corner any available land they are put their packing houses onto them and it's frustrating because we moved out to this area to be in the country quote unquote but still be kind of close to the city but as you can see Tech Paradise 
and put up a parking lot. Of course, he over there with the delicious looking. Look at all the bread. Mm, we got some grits. You sharing? Nope. <laughs> um, our waitress asked me. Our waitress asked me, was I doing keto? And I'm like, not really, but kind of. But I'm going to show y'all what I got. So I got sausage and bacon, two eggs, fried hard, and a little bit of gravy. Yes. yes. We don't do a lot of eating out, but if we do, it's gonna be on the weekend. I don't wanna cook. Can I have a bite of your waffle? gonna make me a, a piece. I don't want to stick my fork on it. <laughs> I couldn't resist. That's too big. I want the, yeah, that part. This is how much I ate. So I ate about a half of my egg, a piece of bacon, and a sausage. We finished breakfast, and now I've got to take my husband home because he's got to get his car fixed. I used to not even like go to Waffle House when I was heavier because I would tell my husband, I don't like Waffle House, and I think I've told you guys this story before, and he's like, what? Who doesn't like Waffle House? I'm like, I don't like Waffle House, but it was truth be told it was because i couldn't fit in the booth comfortably i could fit in there but i couldn't fit comfortably so yeah it's just crazy to go now and be able to enjoy it and be comfortable and sit comfortably i can go pretty much anywhere now and sit comfortably but i remember several times we'd be going out to eat and i before we even sit down i'm like i'm not going to be able to fit in the booth and that's a that's a whole nother feeling like not being able to fit in the booth. And that's just another indication that I got too big. Like, not being comfortable in a booth. Like, I made a post, you know, about my weight loss uh, yesterday. And I just mentioned that, like, when I, when I leave this earth, I, you know, I'm praying and hoping that it is not due to my health decisions and like my, um, you know, the damage that I did due to my body being overweight. I just, I want it to be because it's my time to go. I want to be able to say I lived a life well lived and well traveled and the life I deserved. But being as heavy as I was, I wasn't living life. I thought I was, but what I'm able to do now compared to what I could do then, you know, it's night and day. I've always been an active person for the most part, but just, <clears throat> I've always been an active person for the most part, <laughs> but um, losing weight has definitely made things easier. Hey y'all, so I'm back at home. <laughs> Um, so I'm real particular about stuff and I'm really particular about like stuff with my house so you can see this up here on my siding it has like this grody um, I think it's like an algae grow I've been looking at some stuff on how to remove it so I've concocted a cocktail of chemicals not really um, but I've concocted some chemicals suggested by a carpenter oh god on youtube this thing is heavy as hell hang on this thing is heavy oh so i'm gonna spray it up there and then i have a scrub brush then i'm gonna scrub it 
and I really hope that it does what it's supposed to do. I had actually bought some, excuse my nasty garage, but it's this. Don't buy that. It didn't do anything. Nothing at all. So either we have super mold or it just don't work. So I'll check in with y'all in a little while to see what I'm able to come up with. Okay, bye. All right, you guys, it is some time later, probably about two hours later. And I wanted to show you guys what I ended up doing because I don't know who told me it was gonna be easy and who told me that it was gonna be like easily obtainable, but here we go. Got majority of it done. There's one little part right there and the, oh, wow. And the only way I couldn't get to that is because I'm short. And you know, I had to stand on the ladder and I just, I couldn't do, I had like a, a big fan type brush and um, I was able to do it like that. But I'll show you this one I showed you guys earlier. And this one looks good. For some reason, this one was easier to do. So happy about that. It is getting cold out here. And my little inflatables are fighting for their lives. We're gonna probably unplug them because it's a little it's a little too windy for them today. Um, so I'm gonna unplug them. There we go. They'll go to sleep, but it's too windy for them today. Oh, my son has homecoming tonight, so I'm gonna go in here and get him completely ready. Gotta do his hair, y'all. That doing that was so hard but I'm gonna tell you something one thing about me I love being asked are you sure about that are you sure you can do that because it makes me it, it puts a fuel under my or a fire under my ass so yeah I got it done I didn't get it all done but I got 99% of that done and my house looks so much better on the outside and that's all that matters to me so I'll catch up with y'all in a minute <laughs> Good morning. So I made a boo boo. I forgot. I literally, I fell completely asleep and forgot to take my Lunjaro last night. I don't, I don't know like if that's going to have an effect on like it's because you know you're supposed to take it the same day, same time each time. I don't know if that's going to affect anything. So if you guys know anything about that, let me know um, to those of you who take it. I'm going to go ahead and take it today because I'm not going to stop taking it because I missed that window last night. I'm just kind of worried. But anywho, I'm going to take it in the back of my arm at this time. Um, but yeah, I'll do that with y'all. So I just pop it and like I told y'all, I press because I did it on my arm one time and I kind of like moved a bit and I didn't get all the medicine in and I... I felt the effects of that uh, the next week. So let me push it. Okay. I always hold it for a couple more seconds. <laughs> and if you watched the video, I think uh, before this one, um, I was given a up on my dosage. I'm going to the the higher dosage than uh, than this one. So <clears throat> this is my last point five. Before we go, so I discovered Arabic or like UAE fragrances um, on like via TikTok, and this one, like when I first smelled it, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know about that, y'all. I've fallen in love with this one. It's called Nuf. And it is like a sweet, spicy, pineapple-y. It's so dark, but it smells so good. I'm trying to find like the right things to pair, like layer this with because I'm, I, I love layering or I'm new to layering, but I have, you know, I, I listen, I got to I want the entire work and it lasts all day. I took my hair down from last night. Mm. And 
it was all in my hair. And I'm like, oh, that, that stuff smells amazing. This is not a plug. I do not get commission for this. Go on and go to Aroma Concepts underscore FL. They have so many different fragrances to choose from. On TikTok, I get commission because like, you know, that, that people can click on your link. This is just a me sharing some things like this. This has been my favorite by far. Like It's something about it. And I get compliments all day long. And it's unisex. So I think that's why it's so odd to me. I put it on my husband when I first got it. And he, I was like, oh, yes, man. But y'all, seriously, perfume from the UAE, it's something the longevity is out of this world compared to like, you know, other perfumes that we have access to. So just go check them out. Look around. You may like something you find, but make sure you're getting authentic stuff. Like I said, I, I've partnered with um, Aroma Concept, Concepts FL. Um, and just look around at what they have. Like there is no special code or special link. You don't get no discount from me. I have a neighbor that started decorating. Like they just moved in. It is, look at this fucking thing right here. It's so big. That's so cool. Um, for many years, like, um, I would decorate and go all out. And this year I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put up my inflatables and just call it a day. Now everybody want to pop up and start doing everything. It's okay. I'm just glad that, you know. <laughs> so I'm pulling up at Sam's, but I haven't been to Sam's in ever. I actually, in ever, in forever. Um, I actually bought a Costco membership because people on my Facebook were like, yeah, 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 Costco's the best. I love Costco. I do not like Costco. Um, Costco is very, um, everything seems super expensive. Now, don't get me wrong. Everything is expensive right now. Anyway, but Costco seems like it is like up there. So um, I just felt like I was always like overspending at Costco. Like, and when I, and I haven't been to Sam's in probably a year now. So I'm sure the price has went up because of inflation. Yeah, yada, 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 whatever. So, um, but anyways, so I got questions about my nails and why I don't get my nails done anymore. Why, why, why I don't have my nails done anymore. This is the reason. I have been getting my nails done for, I'm gonna say 20 years. I started getting my nails done when I was 16 years old. And about a year ago, I started going to this nail salon that my friend recommended, and they did a phenomenal job. Like, for all intents and purposes, my nails visually looked great. My toenails looked great. Um, but then I started noticing certain things about my nails, like they were super thin. Like, if I were to ever take a break in between, um, like, nail sessions my nails were super thin and they had never been like that before like even if I kept nails on my nails were never thin the way that they were <clears throat> and also they weren't trimming my cuticles on my toes or my fingers and um I started noticing like you let's see can you see like I'm sorry ignore the the, the extreme crust of my nail but do you see it how my nail is now growing like well it is now because I had to well I had my my cuticle started to grow into my nail and I noticed that my fingers my nails were starting to become deformed like this one was like that but I fixed it um by removing all the cuticles and I did the same thing to this so I'm having to like regularly trim back my cuticles which your nail tech is supposed to do but they weren't doing it um so what the straw that broke the camel's back for me to stop going to them was that was the the cuticle growth and then like on the 4th of July my finger was hurting so bad I had to take my nail off and there was like a cut it's like they had cut too deep or filed too deep or whatever on my nail bed and my nail <clears throat> I have like a, a green fungus growth underneath my nail and I would have never known that had my fingernail not started hurting so I stopped going to them about that, but I had acrylic on my toes because I just like a very square look. And so um, here recently, I took off my acrylic, my big toe on my uh, left, this side. <laughs> um, my husband was like, why does it look different to the other when I would take my gel polish off? Because I do my gel at home. And he was like, why does it look different than the other one? And so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and take this acrylic off. It's time. It should be good. Y'all, 
my whole big toe. It's like I had cracked that nail underneath that acrylic. And instead of them treating that nail in that purpose so that my nail could be healthy and grow back underneath the acrylic, they just slapped acrylic on top of it. And so I had to take off majority of my toenail. So I am done with nail salons other than a simple manicure or pedicure. And when I say it's simple, I want just, I really, I don't want you guys paying. I just want you trimming my cuticles. I just want you doing that. But majority of that I'm going to do at home anyways. I'm, I'm over it and I don't want to do it anymore. I am good. Um, I, I'm good. I just, I don't want to go through that. My, the condition of my nails was horrible and they're still repairing themselves. Like they're finally thick enough to wear my nails. Like they were so thin, like the nail, it was so bad, but I just wanted to share that because I've got, I've gotten questions and they were like, Oh, is it because of your weight loss surgery? Not at all. It was definitely because of the, the nail techs or that nail shop. So just, just be careful. I may be wrong, but in my opinion, my humble opinion, Sam's has such a bigger variety of stuff. They definitely have so much more stuff than what I am used to or that I am interested in. Hi, I'm good, thank you. <clears throat> so they have so much more stuff than what Costco offers. It's really interesting. And I just feel like their prices are different. I haven't been here in so long. I'm gonna be, I gotta focus, but let me look over here. It's Christmas. It has like a little velvet Christmas tree, the Grinch. I was trying to look at something, but then man, you know, they try to sell you AT&T. Sir, I have AT&T and I absolutely hate it. I hate AT&T service. <laughs> I don't want anything else from y'all. Leave me alone. That's what I was trying to look at, look at on the other side. Look at these. They're like iridescent. Those are so pretty. They're so different. They just, they're gorgeous. They look like diamond. Maybe if, if he's occupied later, I'll go back. But right now, it's not going to work. <laughs> so I finished in Sam's. And I'm going to just tell y'all, hands down, I am, um, it's got to be Sam's. Um, Sam's just has a larger variety of just like food options Costco to me was very like um, how you say I feel like you gotta be a baller shot caller to be up in there and really benefit I like Costco like I feel like I don't know I don't know I, but I'm definitely gonna like moving forward I don't think I'll be going back to Costco unless there's just something in particular that I am looking for that they have which Sam's has all of um, I bought, I think, 13, 12 or 13 items and a t-shirt, and I spent a little over $100. Had I have been at Costco, same things, I would have spent $150 to $170 easily. And it's, and I, I, I don't understand. Um, like, I got, like, I, I just... I'm, I'm hands down Sam's so if you guys go to like wholesale clubs or if you guys have memberships which one do you prefer I know that we have a BJ's coming here and it's a wholesale club so I'm interested to see how that's gonna be um, because I heard that BJ's is like you know really good as well um, like it's like a Sam's and a Costco combined but just like with more bells and whistles so yeah I'm excited for that to happen as well but I just I don't know definitely enjoyed my trip to Sam so I'm going to Walmart now because I there's certain things that I'm not gonna buy at Sam's or Costco like um, pasta sauce we don't eat pasta like that today I'm making lasagna <clears throat> but we don't eat like pasta to that magnitude where I need to have like drums of pasta sauce um, like just just different things I don't need like wholesale amounts of so I will get at Walmart like I just there's just no point in me having that much and I saw my god niece in uh, Sam's and you know I gave her a, I gave her a hug and she was like oh my god you smell so good and I'm like <laughs> yeah it's it's Arabic perfume I love it I love I'm telling y'all I get so many compliments it's it's delicious it's chef's kiss y'all need to go 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 at least look at them
at least look at them because the bottles themselves are gorgeous <laughs> Hey y'all, and happiest of weekends to ya. Um, today is October 21st. And of course, I am in my favorite place, the Kizare, the call. This is my purse that I got, courtesy of TikTok. I got a couple of them, but this is the first one that I have unboxed and worn. Well, I've unboxed them, but this is the first one I've worn. Um, just dropped the kiddo off at school um he has he's in band and um his band is like highly focused on like um competitions and stuff like that so on the weekends typically they do competitions and i would love to be one of those parents that you know get out and um you know chaperone and stuff like that i just i can't <laughs> i'm just not a chaperone gal so um i have some errands to run today some things that i need to get for the house i've been doing a little bit of deep cleaning and um so i thought i'd take you guys along with me today is also the day that i up my moon jaro shot or later on this evening so i wanted to like you know tell you guys how that feels or if it's any different um i have been on my cycle for the past week so Hang on, I'm short, so I have to climb out of the car to do the ATM functions. I'll be right back. Woo, child, I'm back. So, the first of my errands is to go and wash my car. Um, my car is gross, and um, she needs a good she needs a good uh, facelift. So we're gonna go give her a, a good bath. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna end up going. I'm supposed to be going to a haunted attraction again this weekend with my friend um we haven't really solidified plans so hopefully we will if we don't it's okay um yeah so washing my car is the first of chores that i would like to do and then you know we'll go as we go um i got the coolest thing from Publix. now i know that this is to hold like your grocery bags but y'all I use it to hold my purse and it sits securely on the back of the seat I love it anyway um, so I want to give you guys I'm gonna tell you guys a little story a little little backstory about me so I work remotely at home um, and I do accounts receivable a um, little bit of coding a little bit of medical billing collections just a smorgasbord of things and I started getting really bored and I wanted extra money we were getting ready to go on like um, vacation and stuff like that and I just wanted extra money I'm a I'm a lover of money I just passed the whole car wash I am a lover of money and literally at, there's a Dollar General maybe six minutes from my house if that um i can walk and get there in 10 I, maybe well, 20 if i'm yeah yeah about 20 so it, it has to be under 10 minutes from my house so on a whim i applied it looked like it was a clean happy a great store it seemed um i applied got the job and i worked under a lady I'm not going to mention her name, just in case she's watching this, and if you are. Um, she was, for the most part, she was professional. I had no issues with her. Um, she, I just had a set schedule that I could work because of my other obligations to my other job. Like, I couldn't work. I, I was really uncomfortable working more than 24 to 30 hours a week. And I expressed that in my interview. I was like, you know, I'm. this is literally to get me out of the house and for extra money. And at that time, she seemed like she understood. But as time kind of progressed, she kept like adding like weird hours to my schedule. I mean, like working me like a dog. I had expressed to her, like, I cannot work what you're asking me to work. I can only do what I specified. And I was always like kind of like guilted into like doing something. It was just, it was just a whole mess. So, me and my husband went on a cruise, as I've mentioned, um, in May. And we ended up getting COVID from the cruise. And 
long story short, this lady was telling people I had COVID. Other employees knew that I had COVID before I even came back. Um, and she kind of put me in a situation where I had to like make it a, make a joke out of it that, you know, yeah, I had COVID, but yeah, I'm okay. Um, and from working in the medical industry, I know that you're not supposed to tell people's um, health information. And I know that you're not supposed to um, like discuss things of that nature with other employees. It's a, it's a HIPAA violation. It's a PHI violation. So eventually I ended up just like saying, you know what, forget this. You know, you're trying, like, y'all, she had me, when I came back from vacation, she had me working 12 days in a row at a part-time job that was only supposed to be 24 to 32 hours, 24 to 30 hours a week, I'm sorry. Um, and it was because people were short staffed or they were short staffed, you know, that that wasn't my fault you know the store is short shaft short short shafted <laughs> short staffed i understand that cool but i am not gonna agree to work more than what i am comfortable working because i have other obligations outside of here to my family to my primary job that there's just too much going on and i can't commit to this and, um, and, and, you know, so I ended up, you know, resigning. And I also filed a complaint on her, the corporate, because I felt that my, my rights were violated. And, you know, she was never unprofessional to me. She was never disrespectful to me. She never gave me, like, a problem or anything. But she shouldn't have told my business. And I shouldn't have been put in a position to joke about it to, to make it a, a topic of conversation there were even customers who mentioned to me oh we heard you had COVID we're glad you're okay what so make a long story short this woman started harassing me y'all she would like she started sending me text messages um just saying things to me that she shouldn't have been saying to me outside of work like when I resigned that should have been it there should have been no more communicato between me and this lady but she continued to reach out to me. So, I didn't hear from her for a while after, you know, she had first started, like, harassing me, telling me that she was going to file declamation of character charges. If I can find the screenshots of the text, I'll share them here on the screen. But, um, just, I mean, fucking crazy stuff. Crazy, abnormal weird behavior so i continue to follow up with with hr i'm like this lady is continuing to contact me she's continuing to talk to me she is like this should not be a thing like why so um i had you know i think it was the fourth of july and you know i'm enjoying the time with my family i kid y'all not she sends me a text and says to me, okay, sorry, I had to kind of cool my phone down. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I got a microphone. I just got to get it set up for like times like this. But I was just like, this lady should not be contacting me. Make a long story short, all of her staff, you know, and on the 4th of July when she messaged me, I said, look, motherfucker, shouldn't you be working? Don't you have a store to run? I know that you're upset that you have to work. And this is after being contacted by her way more than I should have been um, because I took the high road the first time that she contacted me I didn't say anything out of the way to her but the, the, the last time that she reached out to me I let her but have it like I'm you're not going to keep messaging me like this is this outrageous stop talking go to work do whatever it is you need to do and you know mind your business so, um, all of her staff, by the way, like, they hated me, you know, because it was like a cult mentality. I am, I am beyond convinced they were dealing with each other sexually. It was just a whole mess. So, um, anytime I go in there, and I say all that because I stopped it. Hang on. Alright. So, I say all that to say, I go in that Dollar General regularly because 
it's in my neighborhood. I'm not gonna go outside of my neighborhood because people there can't control their emotions and their and or their behavior. So I go in there today and there's one lady in particular. I do not speak to this lady. I don't speak to any of any of them really, and it takes a lot for me to get to that point. But I don't speak to, to her particularly because she's messy. And so, you know, I'm in there with my son. I don't cause any problems. I use the I use the um the self-checkout because I don't want to deal with them directly. And she makes it a point to go out of her way to talk to me. Why? You, you know, you, I don't, you know, I don't need any help. I don't need to be told to have a good day. It's just so frustrating. Have you guys ever dealt with anything like that before? Like, she made it a point. She's checking someone out. And, and she stops and says, y'all, or you have a good day, or y'all have a good day. I don't say anything but my son, because he is raised right, he responds to her. I don't have anything to say to her, and I really want to look at her ass and tell her, don't speak to me. I'm not going to, you don't. You do not owe me that pleasure, that pleasantry. Um, I didn't have to personally interact with you. We have to have no conversation. Do not talk to me. But, you know, and, I'm, and it takes a lot for me to get to that point. But my experience with that Dollar General was absolutely horrible. Just, just saying. You guys ever dealt with anything like that? I know that was a long story to get to a simple ass question. Y'all know how I roll, but I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, y'all, so the car is clean and we have arrived at home. Not at home, but at the store, at home. So many of you may not know this, but my mom, she has moved in with us temporarily. Um, and we are, we, my husband, um, prior, he kind of utilized a separate room as a device man cave gaming area stuff like that my hair <laughs> um so we've kind of had to like crunch up into our master bedroom closet but i need to organize that better so that we have more space ruin we don't have any space and we need it so I was gonna try and Dollar Tree look up some stuff, but I think that it'd just be better and cheaper to purchase what I need to purchase from a store like here or Ross. So I'm gonna go check out what they have here, and I would have gotten the most loud buggy in the whole store. Here we are. I don't see it yet. But I'm hoping that I can find it because I need it. I need it. Maybe it's going to be down here by the hanger. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So what I'm looking for is the thing. It's like a a magic hanger, and it like collapses. Like you can put three or four or five shirts on in one hanger and it will collapse and kind of like allow you to make space and I'll show y'all my closet when I get home I just I really need things like this to be able to maximize the space yeah okay, so I'm back home and this is what my closet looks like oh my god it is just driving Minerts. So it's just, I mean, look at this. Look at this. And these are all my shoes. And I've I've phased out my look at that. My um my winter, my winter, my fall, I'm sorry, my summer spring stuff, and I've replaced it with my fall stuff, but still. So hopefully I can come back and show you guys my updated closet here. Here soon. <laughs> Alright, here it is. <laughs> the finished product. No, um, this is where I've gotten so far. I've removed this shelf on this side. It looks like this. And I've also removed the shoe racks down the middle. Y'all have no idea how much space that actually opened up. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a work in progress. I got a lot to do. But those are gone. This is coming out. And then I'm going to start organization. I've got some organizing pieces I've purchased to 
help make it better. But just wanted to show y'all. Excuse my dirty house. <laughs> All right, you guys. So it's been a couple of days since I did my last closet update, but I wanted to show you guys where I am so far. Now, this is where I am. Like, still have some work to do, but there's I had to order some things like my perfumes. I have a um like a wall display that I'm having brought in or sent in because I this sticks out too much. Like, let me look at it from this angle. See, and I feel like you bump it, and I'm gonna get rid of this um little thing here i'm gonna remove it and i'm gonna put a stool in um but i just wanted to show you guys the really cool thing that i added because uh i'm extra but let me bounce it back a little bit oh wow wow <laughs> these little tap lights they came from walmart um and the reason i got them because without them see how like dark it is um it, it just really helps with the visibility. Um, I really like it. And it feels bougie. Um, got them from Walmart. I think they were $20. But I really like how it opens up the space. So I was able to get his shoes down. And they are now down here. And same with mine. And look at how much room there is for activities. Like really. And I got these things here. Um, so all of my longer clothing pieces like dresses and then I have jackets and stuff over there and then like um his work stuff and you know other jackets and stuff are there and in these little things right here I have my like look how many black t-shirts do you need Kelsey um really so I have all of my t-shirts my sweats my sweatshirts and things like that and then his work clothes are here so but just wanted to give y'all an update gotta get this taken care of but for the most part <clears throat> I couldn't be more happy. <laughs>